Another fun thing that came out of Indiana's media day yesterday was new Indiana Hoosier, former Illinois fighting Illini, Luke Goody, friend of the program. Luke Goody was the the shining star of our NBA draft of Palooza in the summer. We came out of that being like, that guy's the coolest person on the planet. So Luke, open invite if you want to come back on the show and uh, defend your stance here. But Luke Goody was asked about Illinois, Indiana. Because he, again, comes from Illinois to Indiana. There's all these connections there. And uh, through the years, Illinois and Indiana have been framed as a rivalry. There's some deep-rooted history there, going back to the Eric Gordon days. Eric Gordon, a uh, guy who a lot of people thought was going to go to Illinois, ends up in Indiana. There was a big-time shoulder bump in the pregame dap-up line in that game back in the day. You can find the footage on that. But uh, Luke Goody's comments on if Illinois-Indiana is a rivalry, he says no. It is not. He kind of chuckled. You can watch the video of his response to this, but he was like, man, it's not. It's not. It's Purdue, Indiana. That's all it is. It's only Purdue, Indiana. Let's start with that, Dion. Do you do you agree with Luke Goody here? I, I don't disagree, but this feels like, as someone that manufactures a lot of stuff, this just feels like you're trying a little too hard. You're trying a little too hard to, like, dis this your old team maybe a little bit and be like oh no like i moved on to bigger and better things look i'm really in the rivalry now like you guys wanted to be in the rivalry now i've inserted myself you don't need to try that hard just start a fight during the game and then no one's going to question anything so you you read this as a diss to illinois yeah i do yeah i don't at all really i I can see how you could but i i read this i like to think i'm a luke goody body language expert now I read this as him trying to prematurely diffuse things with his old program, not in a disrespectful way, but just in like a, yeah, like we like those guys. Like we got, yeah, that's fine. That's, we like Illinois. That's fine. We hate Purdue because he's not running from that one. No, see, this is where I flipped the switch to me manufacturing stuff. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. Why do you hate that? We shouldn't be diffusing anything. Like <laughs> we, okay. we don't mean we may not need to manufacture anything, but like let's not pretend like if I'm an Indiana player, I'm at are you still in the group chat? Like let me see your phone. Like who's 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 calling you right now? Is Brad has Brad texted you lately? Because he better not be. You know what I mean? Like we don't need to diffuse anything. Well, but that the thing about the Illinois group chat is that everybody in the Illinois group chat from last year is no longer at Illinois. Coleman no, Hawkins is at Kansas State. So this was kind of like a group collective effort. Sincere and Amani are at West Virginia. Everybody's like, screw this. Dane's at Memphis. No, Tim Anderson's about to be somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. Like, there's been so much turnover. I just think they've all moved on. Um, the the interesting part of this to me, though, is not whether Luke Goody thinks his old program is a rival with his new program. It's where Purdue sits in all of this. Because there's a lot of, like, subliminal Purdue stuff here. Obviously, Indiana and Purdue is a big rivalry, but Purdue sort of became Illinois' rival to last year's team. Now, it was team specific. It's not going to last forever, but Brad Underwood and Matt Painter are the two best coaches in this conference. There was no love lost between Purdue and Illinois in social media and just the players themselves on the team last year. Purdue went into Champaign. And clinched the Big Ten with Braden Smith hitting a dagger shot over Terrence Shannon. So, I don't know. It's interesting to me, like, Luke Goody is correct in going back to, like, well, Purdue, Indiana's the move. But it also just kind of feels like Purdue's been the big bad wolf for everybody here. Because Luke Goody was a rival with Purdue last year at Illinois. And now he's, that's all I care about in Indiana, too, you know? Well, that's why I think it's manufactured, too, though. Because it's like... Like you didn't need uh, if you you could just end it with like hey Illinois Indiana is in a rivalry why'd you name drop Purdue because they're the best team in the league because it's a true huge historic great rivalry yeah it is I mean it is but it's also because they're the best team if Purdue was projected to rank in the bottom half of this league I don't think he name drops them don't think so you think no. it's just he just answers and says no it's not a rivalry with Illinois. I think he just leaves it like that and then we move on. But like he name dropped Purdue because it's kind of like those are the best two teams. It's kind of like let's establish something with them now while also getting rid of something with my old team. Like, hey, we don't have to worry about them. Like those are the nice guys. Our focus is on Purdue. There's some history too. Like Luke Goody's an Indiana kid. So he's grown up in this rivalry his whole life. I think that's part of it.
but yeah, yeah, I don't know. Uh, okay, answer for yourself, not for Lou Goody. Now is Illinois Purdue? Well, no, Illinois Indiana. Is that a rivalry? No, no. I'm on his side. It just didn't need to be. <laughs> is is Illinois Purdue a rivalry? It was. I don't. I I I feel like you can have rivalries in, for moments. You know what I mean? Like I I think when those were the two best teams in, in, in the league, and they had two the two of the best players in the league, and easily the two best coaches in the league, it was a rivalry. Now they still have the two best coaches in the league, so I think this could be a rivalry again. Yeah. But like this year, I don't think there's anything like there. If Illinois is good this year, it's still a rivalry like Illinois Purdue. But then we're already off the plot because this is Illinois Purdue, not Illinois Indiana. Honestly, Indiana needs to be good enough to get back involved in this conversation with Illinois. That's That's why I think he named drop Purdue. Yeah, that makes sense. Makes sense. Football season is here. Money is out there to be had in the form of winning bets. And our friends at my book, you want to make it easy for you to do just that. Yeah, and coming into football season, you're going to have games all weekend happening everywhere. And Gregory, where is the only place that Sleepers Media places all bets? I can tell you right now, since last February, February 1st to be exact, my bookie is the only place that I have placed a sports bet. I love my bookie. They make it easy. They get you quick payouts. They have awesome promo offers. In fact, Card, they've got one right now that football fans everywhere and listeners of this show are going to want to take advantage of. Yeah, using promo code SLEEPERS, that's promo code SLEEPERS, you can take advantage of a 50% instant deposit bonus right now. That's 50% instant deposit bonus up to $1,000 over at MyBookie. Use promo code SLEEPERS and happy betting. Home dogs aren't dogs, they're wolves. I'm trying to flip that into like sport, like home sports books aren't books, they're novels. We'll work on it. That didn't work. Go my bookie promo code sleepers.